Hi friends, good morning. Welcome back to another video. We're here, Orlando based flight attendant, about to work my first flight to Philadelphia and then work two other flights to Cincinnati and back to Philly. I am flying in the back. I'll see you when we get to Philly. officially welcome to the layover just made it here to Philadelphia after working three flights today we are here for the next 11 hours it is 6 5 p.m. I am going to get out of this uniform put my food in my hot logic even though I have a microwave I feel like food tastes better with a hot logic so I'm just gonna leave it there and then I'm gonna talk to you guys about the insane amount of hours that I have for this month let me get out of this uniform kind of like get settled here and then we'll chat about the schedule this is where I thought I had the most lighting but I I guess I took a long time and now there isn't a lot of lighting so let's figure something out here hang on I'm trying I'm trying guys so a few things before I actually dive into my schedule I did mention that I didn't want to work trips for a little bit I've actually been working two-day trips the majority of the times where a lot of stuff happened I was working a three-day or four-day and so I think a two-day trip is is perfect for me normally I work like two three legs on the first day on the second day is usually two or three legs and then I'm done. Like this one, I wore three legs today. Everything was perfect. We were on time. We actually arrived 20 minutes early and you know, we didn't have any drama. Nothing really happened, no maintenance, no nothing. So that was, that was beautiful. So I guess I am giving a chance and prioritizing two day trips and high hour turns versus a three day or a four day. However, for next month, which is this month, I don't know why I keep talking about next month thinking that we're in September. We're already in October, it's October 1st today. For October, I do have a couple of three days and a four day trip. Mainly I did it because of hours as much as I know that you know I can't really control weather or mechanicals or you know other other stuff that happens sometimes when you're working you know <laughs> in this kind of environment I have allowed myself to take a break for those long trips which the last time I went on a three-day trip was actually probably in September 6th after that I've done two days and turns. I have been taking care of myself. I've been, you know, sleeping more. I've been hydrating myself more. I know that I'm about to work, you know, the most amount of hours I've ever worked. And I only have eight days off with 126.12 hours. And I am doing this because I don't plan to work a lot in December. I have my trip to Europe and there are also other stuff happening in December, which I cannot wait to share with you guys. And and so yeah I, I need to work as much as I can so I'm gonna go ahead and insert my schedule here so that you can see what I'm looking at I am currently on this two-day trip that I've already told you <laughs> what we did which was three legs today and tomorrow we only have one leg so we work Philadelphia to Charlotte and then we deadhead from Charlotte to Orlando then I have one two three four days off and then I work one two three four turns which is what you see over there and then you see MCO and then like uh, dash 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 MCO uh, what you're seeing on that last one is in my duty off is after midnight so it goes into a second day but I am not working a second day for those turn I am actually going to Ponce in Puerto Rico which I've never worked a flight there I've been to Ponce many times being from Puerto Rico then I do a Houston turn then I have another Houston turn and then I do a Philadelphia turn for these turns the reason why I kept them even though going back and forth to the airport it's not the most ideal you know in my situation uh, is because I am working with Tori and we've been wanting to work we never really get the chance unless we swap into turns or trips and for this month we actually got these awarded together after that I go on a super high hour uh, fake three day which is a 17 hour fake three day and again I'm saying fake three day because I'm not working on the third day my duty off is after midnight on the second day after that I have a Baltimore turn I have another trip and I am going to Denver for two nights then I come back and I have a day off 
and then I work a Houston turn, then I have an ice slip fake three day, and then I have a San Francisco three day, which I actually put it on my Instagram story. A lot of people thought that I wanted to work the trip on that day, but in reality, I just wanted to know if I should pick it up for this month. I just wanted you guys to pick a trip for me. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, go ahead and go over there, Will In Flight on Instagram. I'm sometimes posting stories, asking questions about trips, and just sharing information with you guys. So go ahead and follow me over there. I'm going on that San Francisco trip, and then I have two days off, really, even though I get back that morning morning from San Fran I'm probably gonna be sleeping all day and then I work this 25 hour four day trip which I've done 30 hour of four day trips but yeah it's just it's just a lot of hours but I do like that in between trips I do have a day off sometimes I have two days off sometimes even though it looks like I only have one I actually have two because again duty off is just on my second day not necessarily that I am working a second day this is not what I got awarded I made a mistake in my bidding and I put two days but I didn't put the amount of credit that I wanted so the system thought that I was just essentially asking for whatever was available and so I got awarded turns that essentially ended you know with the duty off on the second day so the system really gave me two days but it, it, it was just turns with duty off after midnight and that's really not ideal because it messes up your entire schedule when you're trying to drop trips and swap the system thinks that it is an actual two day even though you're not working on the two days so you may get a lot of different you know trips that you're trying to pick up or swap into uh, denied because again the system is not really understanding that's pretty much my schedule I went through a lot of changes to get to to this schedule and like I said the reason why I have so many hours is because I don't plan to work a lot in December and so I am excited for what's to come and I also cannot wait to share with you guys right now I am actually going to eat I am very hungry it is 6 47 and tomorrow I have to be up at 4 in the morning and I might have said it already but we're only working we're really we have two flights tomorrow but we're only working one I can't believe that we are in October already time is flying and I feel like every three videos I say this but it really is and yeah I can't believe you know the amount of changes that I've had this year and you know the amount of times that I've had to adjust and and change and that's crazy I don't know why this turned into like a self-reflection moment but uh, yeah today was a very good day I have a very nice crew and I had a few days off so I was actually glad to come back to work and we actually got free Starbucks when we were in Cincinnati today that was nice I don't think I have anything more to share with you guys only because I'm literally just going to eat, wait about an hour, and then just go to bed. So I think I just wanted to, you know, kind of like give you guys an update of what my schedule looks like, what I've been up to these days, because I know that I haven't shared my schedule with you guys in a very long time, and some of you guys might find that interesting. Lastly, I didn't want to go without sharing, I guess, a concern, because we've seen a lot of suicides happen lately in the industry. If you know someone that's crew that you know that are currently going through something, please check on them, check on your friends, check on your aviation friends. We're not speculating, we're not judging or anything here. We don't know the circumstances, but, you know, it is alarming the amount of cases and and you know suicides that have been happening recently and then these past two uh news about you know the flight attendant and the pilot it is concerning it is alarming so please check on your aviation friends make sure that they're okay sometimes you know it is hard to talk about problems it is hard to feel like you can open up to someone you know and and it is it is difficult and this job can get very very lonely if you don't know how to handle your emotions if you don't know how to you know take time for yourself and also take time off if you work in aviation and you know you feel that you're having thoughts or you know just just feel alone in general reach out we have each other and and all we can do is support each other the best way that we can to make sure that we keep moving forward so with that being said thank you so much for watching today's video if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button it really helps grow the channel a lot i truly appreciate it also don't forget to like the video and i'm going to see you next week for another flight attendant video take care